right at home plate. Hit hard towards second, but right to the second baseman, and that's the second out. Victor Martinez Victor is Martinez. into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Well, at the very least, he went down half. Striking out is one of the many frustrations. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Alex Gordon is ready here as we begin the top of the fourth. Left fielder. Alex. Who started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. And a good looking swing there from Gordon, but he can't come up with it, and it's 0 2 now. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact, and he'll get another chance. And he chased it in the dirt. He'll throw down to first, one away. Francisco Cervelli, the hitter now. 0 for 1 on the day after reaching on an error his first time up. Yeah, still looking for his first hit of the game, so let's see if he can come through with that one right here. Now he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Catfish Hunter will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 and 1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control, 0 and 2. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Leading off the inning, Ryan Howard, and they'll need him to get Leading something up. going here. And right here is an important time for them to climb back into this one. They definitely want to even this one up sooner rather than later. Well, with the power bat up at the plate, the manager wisely signals his outfielders to back off. Don't want anything over their heads here. Fastball too high to start him out here, 1 0. Right side. Murphy's got it. And a rather easy first out. So one gone here, and that'll bring up the powerful Josh Hamilton. Catfish steps into his windup. First pitch on the way. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. That evens it up. One and one. Hit sharply on the ground. Throw on to first will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Chop foul right at home plate. It's strike one. And here's a curveball in the dirt that time for a ball. One and one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Calling for it, Crawford, and that retires the side. Carl Crawford heads for the box to start off the fifth in this one. And guys, this is the guy you want leading off this end. He's your leadoff man, so maybe he can get things started, set the table for a little bit of a rally. Daniel Murphy will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. And he's retired one away. Justin Turner will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. Yeah, put the ball in play. Sometimes that's half the battle. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. Prince Fielder steps in, working on a one-for-two game so far. And they go right after him on the inside corner for strike one. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Fifth inning of play here in a 3-2 ball game. High and deep to right center field. Sizemore ranging back, 
But he can't get there as this hops over the wall for a ground rule double. And a bit of a break on defense as only one run is going to score. Short hit hard. Seeger takes it in. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Starling Marte ready to take another shot. Went down on strikes his last time up. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Sizemore over to his left. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Leading off the inning, Ryan Zimmerman, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Well, they've got some work to do here, but there's still a lot of time left in this game. So just chip away, chip away. And he'll look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. Chopped at the plate. That's a foul ball. Sent on the ground out to second. And a high throw that time, but Fielder's able to go up and get it for the first out. Chris Medlin comes to the plate looking to put the ball in play. He went down on strikes last time. It was a pretty big strikeout, too, because he had a chance to drive in a run, so I'm sure he's going to be thinking about that missed opportunity for a little while. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. And there to take it in is Gordon for out number two. Brady Maxwell comes forward to bat again. He was the victim of a double play last time around. Well, two outs here, so not going to happen again, at least. On the ground near home. Throw to Fielder at first. He'll take care of him, and that'll be that. Alex Gordon will stand in now. He singled and struck out in two trips. Hard hit ball to second. Maxwell from shallow right. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Francisco Cervelli stands into the box. He's 0 for 2 so far in this one. Fun attempt, and it looks like a good one. But the throw will beat him at first, so the bunt for hit attempt is snuffed out. Catfish Hunter is going to hit here with his guys up by 3 in inning number 6. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls in a strike. Boy, if he makes contact there and makes an out, that's a three-pitch inning. I think I would have had him look at at least one. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Yeah, two straight fastballs in on the hands. They haven't produced a strikeout. So now two and two. You've got a few options here. Maxwell is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Mookie Betts. Strides into the box now. Launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. And the great Raleigh Fingers is up and throwing now. Catfish looks in. Here's the first pitch. Not his best oh, effort that time. It's strike one. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think That's ideally funny. you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but... As long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. Grady Sizemore will take another shot here. He's flied out and lined out in two trips. First delivery to him on the way. Fly ball out toward left center field. Crawford has a beat on it. And that's the first out of the inning. The relay. Throw back to second, and that's a double play. And with two gone now, it'll be up to Victor Martinez here. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Mm. 
And we've seen that same pitch be called a strike more than once. And that misses low and inside. Two balls and no strikes. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Going after it is Gordon. And that's the third out. Carl Crawford is set to get us started for the late innings of this one. Well, you know, he's been on base twice in this one already, so let's see if he can do it again. Look oh. out, a fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. Hey. And here's a fastball in for strike one. 91 miles an hour that time. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Ready to deliver the one and two. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, one down. Daniel Murphy stands into the box. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Line toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Justin Turner ready for another at bat now he's two for three so far yeah and you can bet he'd love to get himself that third hit those are the kind of games that puts a little extra pep in your step and they'll get the fielder's choice play at second but that's all digging in and looking for more Prince Fielder he'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here and a good fastball there but this just misses the zone for ball one hit hard on the ground towards second throw on to the first baseman Howard and with that the side is Ryan Howard steps into the box as the leadoff hitter here in the bottom of the seventh Well, it's a close ball game, but it's starting to get late, so they need to get at least one back here in this inning. Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. Tony Watson will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seven. Line toward the alley in left center. Crawford is right there, one down. Josh Hamilton will dig in for the third time now. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. Shot back up the middle, but right at the shortstop for the second out. Corey Seager will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. First offering on its way. No contact on the sinker there, and he's behind 0-1. He's running the risk of a three-pitch inning if he makes an out there. Oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire. Yunel Escobar comes to the plate, and he'll start us off in the eighth. 